Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and yesterday was a super, super crazy day because obviously we got the actual reveal for the name of Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and uh, nobody really expected the name reveal to take place this early. Like, I can't really recall a Call of Duty game that has ever been shown to us this early in the year. Um, I guess it hasn't happened, but I mean, I don't know. It does kind of make sense because the actual release of the game is set to take place a month earlier in October, which is great, but uh, regardless, the rumors were true, and one of of the ways Treyarch was celebrating the game reveal of Black Ops 4 is they're giving away a free calling card in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 so all you have to do is simply log on to the game and you're going to be able to receive this pretty cool looking animated calling card. So make sure you log on to the game in order to receive the free gift because it is going to be ending on the 12th in a few days here. Also starting today is quad feed XP so there is going to be double XP, double crypto keys, double liquid divinium and double weapon XP. But man I've seen so much hype around this game mainly because because it's Treyarch and also it's a Black Ops game and I don't know there's something about Treyarch that gets us all super duper excited I guess it's because they haven't made a bad Call of Duty game in my eyes and many others they feel the same way about this too but I am super super excited guys now I want to talk a little bit about the setting of the game because a few days ago there were some reliable sources that said BO4 is going to be taking place in the near future and the article was posted by Kotaku and then Charlie Intel posted their link as well and then Marcus Sellers who's the guy that first leaked Black Ops 4 said the setting is going to be taking place in 2020 so apparently it is going to be a futuristic game not too much into the future though but it is going to be a prequel to Black Ops 2 however I'm not all too sure about this because uh, the guy was wrong about one thing he, he did leak the title first I'll give him that I'll give him that kind of credit but he was wrong on Black Ops 4 being ported over to the Nintendo Switch because there was no uh, information about that during Nintendo's Direct yesterday so yeah he was wrong about about that but yeah I am gonna give him credit he did leak the title so uh, he did do that but I kind of thought he was BSing everything for attention at first but uh, I mean I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna give him credit in my video that I made about his tweet I did kind of say he was uh, probably BSing everything and he does have a known history of uh, giving some false information and then deleting the tweets right after but he was right about this so again I am gonna give him credit for that definitely in a few weeks though we're gonna be getting some more details about the game I'm pretty sure Redwood's know is gonna have something that involves Black Ops 4 like they wouldn't just put that map in there for no reason I really really do believe that uh, there are some hidden Easter eggs on that map or there are some Easter eggs that are not yet public and I definitely do feel we're gonna be getting some more teasers and that kind of stuff coming up very very soon here but yeah I just want to bring guys this update in case you guys didn't know about this if you did enjoy then leave a like and comment your thoughts about Black Ops 4 down below in the comment section and thank you for watching till next time I'll see you later